Uh, most of the newspapers around the country carried it on the front page. Uh, it turned out everyone was all right, but what a way to start a race. We'll see it in a moment, but first say hello to racing champion Peter Brock, here. <laughs> They tell me that this is the first um, uh, record, first car smash you've had in 15 years. Yeah, it really is, I suppose, Don. It's, uh, you often can uh, put a scrape down the side of a car. You don't really count those, particularly if you keep on driving. But, uh, yeah. yeah, that's the first one, and uh, hopefully it'll be another 15 years before the next one. There would have been a, other technical things would have gone wrong with cars that you've driven. I mean, they would have broken down or yeah. wheels didn't work yeah. and things like that. But, I mean, actually have a smash. This yeah. is the first time. I, I, a lot of people have said that I've been a little bit... Um, fortunate because a wheel might have fallen off as you're driving into the pits or something like this yeah, instead of uh, 150 mile an hour down the main straight but sure. uh, I guess sooner or later that uh, circumstances are going to be there that you're going to have a crash. Okay well let's show everybody what we're talking about we'll see it in regular motion you have to watch as you're looking at your television screen I'd suggest you look on the left hand side there is a red Chevrolet Monza and it's going to do tricks. Peter's driving. <laughs> this is his car. I haven't seen it. I here it comes. It's on the far left. That's his yeah. car. Look at this. Yeah. Okay, oh, folks, yeah. here we go. Yeah. Now it's doing well, and they're doing tricks. Oh. Well, well, well. <laughs> well, now you've had Sorry a look. That, eh? <laughs> <laughs> what went through your mind when all of that happened? Uh, well, I think the simplest word is to say the car escaped. I mean, it just, uh, instead of going down the road as I thought it would, it uh, <laughs> just turned hard left. In fact, I got into work this morning and my mechanics were in there having a bit of, who weren't working on that car, they uh, were building my Holdens. Mm. They said, uh, did you really have to stop and sign that autograph? I mean, why'd you turn hard left? <laughs> in the spectator area, you see, and all sorts well, of jokes. How come it swung left like this? Somebody clipped you in the back or something? Well, I, I think maybe I got a little tap in the back there, but uh, I felt as if um, the rear axle broke or something in the rear axle broke which uh, meant the rear wheels steered the car instead of the front wheels oh i see because yeah. it uh, it honestly just took off and just turned hard left without any any problem any warning at you, all. you have time you, you have time to think in that situation i mean the thoughts enter your mind well uh, as, as a matter of fact uh i thought at the time that the rear axle had broken and i got back to the start line uh, after the whole car's been dragged out and i went and saw the uh, officials of the meeting and I said would you like my version of what happened well, not that it might do much good but yeah. I'll give it to you and they said first of all would you like to see what the uh, official observer uh, said and the official observer said that I was hit, hit behind by another car and I said well I better wait and have a look at a television replay because yeah. if you're driving what is virtually a mini minor with 600 brake horsepower uh, it's very hard to feel another car hit you you know because yes. everything's happening so quickly well let's let's run it in slow motion now and we can take a look uh, again there you are out there on the left who was the guy who was straight up in the air with the car? I think it's the, uh, that Falcon we can see yeah. a second from the right. Oh, now, there, you get clipped. Oh, I do you? Th well, I think you I get think clipped there. there. He hits you there. Yeah. there. And it yeah. looks like you're going to swing out the other see, way. See how quickly it's turned. It's absolutely turned right angles. And you cop one broadside here. And I don't understand this. Everybody smashes up. You end up behind them, and they're all in front of you. Look at this. Now, how yeah. the heck does that other car get way well, up Richards on top? Is, I can Look see one car. Actually, he's gone over the top of my car, has he? <laughs> almost. Well, he's almost made Another it, foot and he would have landed right on top of you. Another bike sneaking through the middle there. He's not doing very well, is he? <laughs> no, he's, he's sort of caught up there. <laughs> Imagine a guy driving a car saying, excuse me, would you get off, please? <laughs> Look at this. Well, How I, come there's no petrol all over the roadway or anything? Well, as a matter of fact, uh, a lot of... Uh, of the media people who have been talking to me about this today from various radio stations started to ring me up uh, from very early hours this morning. Mm. And we do have a lot of safety type things in those cars and uh, one of the articles we do have is a, a fuel cell yeah. and also a very strong rigid construction around all of those components. Right. And uh, for instance Bob Jane's car has got an automatic uh, uh, fire extinguisher system on it that is mm. sensitive, sensitive to heat and it meant there was no fuel spilt. And uh, uh, honestly, one of the things that we always like to think in motor racing that we're doing is we are making uh, better cars for the future. I was just about to yeah. say that to you. A lot of the advances that come in modern cars, a lot of people don't realize, yeah. that come from the auto racing industry yes, where they well, try well. these things out. And do it. Yes, well, I, I would say uh, that if I'd never had a six-point harness on and, uh, and the other 
on-car protection devices built in that I probably wouldn't be sitting here talking to you tonight. I had a, in fact, I've got a race um, overseas in a couple of, you know, a, a week or so. In that same car, like that? Not that same car, but a very similar one to that, yeah. Oh, and, uh, All right, this is left and this is right. Thanks, Don. <laughs> That's straight ahead. <laughs> well, I had to, had, so I had to go today and buy a new helmet because uh, my helmet was bashed so much on the roll cage that in fact it, uh, they'd lose their, the stress uh, of the, um, the, the fibre oh, construction of it. Oh, I crack or something. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. been quite weak after yeah. it's happened. And uh, I'd say if I hadn't had that helmet on, I would have... In fact, I've got a bit of a sore neck tonight, but yeah. not bad, you know. Hey, not after a simple... Hey, look, ride, you know. you're sitting here, you're healthy, and you're going to yeah. race again in another car. Yes, no, in about two weeks' time, yeah. Good luck. We'll talk to you tonight after you come back from that. Thank okay. you. Peter I don't know if I could sit in there and let those stuff get out to you. I mean, I'd walk away quite quickly. No, I mean, I would walk away really quick. Do you know who Al Jarreau is? Do you know? He's a no, I don't.